Okay, got some pretty good news here. Apparently the uh, Arizona governor has signed a pro-life anti-abortion bill uh, banning abortions for Down syndrome, banning Down syndrome abortions. This is um, some good news out of the wicked nation that is America. Uh, I guess America is a very wicked nation, uh, don't get me wrong. But this is from Bright Breitbart News, and the basically saying how the Arizona governor signed this new pro-life bill banning Down syndrome, Down syndrome abortions. And I'm sure that will get all the pro-abortion you know, liberals and the pro-abortion left-wingers all upset and triggered, but who cares? It's a morally right thing to do. Okay, so it says, Governor Doug Ducey, hope I'm saying that right, of Arizona signed a bill into law Tuesday that expands protections for unborn children with parental with the parental diagnosis of a disability such as Down syndrome. Let me just make sure I'm screen sharing. Uh, I think I am. Just trying to make sure I'm screen sharing. Uh, Senate Bill 1457 bans providers from providing abortions, quote, knowing that the abortion is sought because of the genetic abnormality of the child. You know, so it's banning people from seeking the murderous, barbaric act of abortion because of a, a child's disability, essentially. So, pretty good morally right policy. The bill makes it a class uh, six felony to perform an abortion solely due to the existence of a genetic ab abnormality kind of a tongue twister for me, or to threaten an immediate woman into having abortion because of a genetic ab ab abnormality. Not good at reading some of this stuff, I do apologize. Uh, quote, the bill does not apply to cases where the child it has a lethal, fatal condition and does not prohibit abortion, sought for other reasons allowed by law, including the life and health of the mother, the governor's office stated in a press release, quote, the bill also ensures women will not be will not be prosecuted for failing to properly care her, for herself or failing to show a program of parental care or against a person who performs in virtual uh, fertilization procedures. And it says, quote, this uh, press statement continued. So it's not the bit, you know, it's not the toughest anti-abortion bill, but you know, there is like, some good stuff about it, but however, you know, there could be some improvements, obviously. Um, but it's a good start, I'll put it that way. The law requires the, the abortion provider to complete an affidavit uh, stating the child is not being aborted due to ab abnormality. It also requires the, the abortion provider to inform the mother that abortion sought because of the child's race, sex, or genetic ab abnormality is illegal. You know, good for them. It's a... Uh, it's pretty wicked when you want to abort somebody just because of a disability, you know. Quote, with this legislation, Arizona remains the top pro-life, one of the top, among the top pro-life states in the nation, unquote, the governor's office added or said in a press release. The sweeping bill confer, uh, confers civil rights on unborn children at any stage of development through, or though, as Arizona Republic reported, as the Arizona Republic reported, not good at reading on a computer. It contains quote a carve out for the embryos created via created via in virtual fertilization. Additionally, the bill bans dispensing of abortion, including drugs. Actually, let me just get my blue light glasses. This might make it a little bit better. Forgot to put these on. Much better. Additionally, the bill bans the dispensing of abortion, inducing drugs through the mail. Uh, requires fetal remains to be buried, cremated, and prohibits public education facilities from performing abortion unless the mother's life is in danger. So yeah, I read that right. It bars taxpayer funds from supporting research that involves aborted babies or embryos. Yeah, pretty sick when you use taxpayer funded money using aborted baby tissue for research, quote unquote research. Uh, Ducey or had already signed into law a law, a bill that ensures women ha easily are able to easily access information about adoption and other resources during pregnancy. And nothing, nothing wrong with adoption. Uh, quote, there is um, immeasurable value in yes, every single life, including regardless of genetic makeup, unquote, DC said in a statement, quote, we will continue to prioritize protecting life and our preborn children. And this legislation goes a long way, goes a long way in protecting real human lives. It goes down there. Uh, then we got some of the uh, triggered pro-abortionists who don't like the bill. Democrats such as Rep, keep highlighting the whole thing, such as Rep Diego Impenzo, Impen, Pen, 
Oza, I think I say I say it, said Ducey's decision to sign the bill into law is not quote pro life, but quote anti families, anti woman, and anti doctor. Yeah, sure. Quote, I'm disappointed to see Arizona moving in this direction, ignoring the needs and desires of doctors, women, and families for extreme an extreme political agenda. No, the only extreme political agenda is the pro-abortion crowd. The abortion that thinks it's okay to abort a baby regardless of how many weeks you are into the pregnancy. He added, uh, reported the Associated Press. Uh, but Kathy Herod, resident, president of the pro-life or sorry, of the pro-family center for Arizona policy said about the bill, or said about the new law today, or quote, today Arizonans win. And quote, quote, Arizona children diagnosed with disabilities uh, prior to birth will no longer be discriminated against, unquote, she celebrated. She celebrated, quote, Arizona women will be insured common sense safeguards if they choose the abortion pill. Arizona taxpayers will not be forced to support abortions at public colleges and universities, and the laws of Arizona will be interpreted to value all human life. Yeah, exactly. And it's funny because you got groups like Black Lives Matter who talk about, oh, Black Lives Matter. How come you're not outside the abortion clinic then? You see, all these black leaders who just talk about Black Lives Matter, they ought to be storming the abortion clinics and telling they're black women, don't kill your own babies. And they'd also be advocating for separation too. They'd be advocating for black separation. And likewise, white advocates would be advocating for white separation, okay? Because the best way to stop racial tensions is obviously to have separation, okay? Blacks get a nation, whites get a nation, and they're separate, okay? That's the first step. The next step would be to get black women to stop killing their own babies at the abortion clinic. Again, these black leaders ought to be just storming the abortion clinics and saying, stop killing your babies. Stop black women, stop killing your babies. That's what they ought to be doing. And then once that is happening, advocate for separation and nationhood, racial separation, which is a scriptural concept. So just wanted to show you guys that. So they are, the bill isn't obviously perfect. Just some, some things I would disagree with the bill as a whole. I think it doesn't go far enough, quite frankly, but it's a good start. Uh, uh, banning Down syndrome abortion, which is morally correct, it's morally right. So yeah, don't be deceived by the pro-abortion lobby who say, oh, it's just about a woman's health. No, it's not. It's a political agenda to murder children. That's all it is. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.